by our church, Holy Trinity Church at um, Milton Regis City Bourne. It's approximately a thousand years old. The lights and some of these objects I'm going to pick out started travelling toward us a long time before then. So these are known as deep sky objects. So we start off with the Great Bear, the Saucepan, Plough, Big Dipper, whatever you want. There it is, more recognisable now, this way around. We have a few galaxies to pick out. They're literally millions of light years away. We have M101. Picks out there. I can just about see a very, very faint smudge on the screen. I don't know if it comes out next on the computer. But anyway, we have also got two galaxies to the right hand side of the two pointer stars, the North Star. And these galaxies M81, 82 can be picked out actually on this screen. I can see them. Okay. And then move on to another deep sky object. So you go underneath the saucepan, the plow, Big Dipper, and there uh, we come across Leo. Leo the Lion. Now we put the right way round uh, from my point of view. Have Leo is a backwards question mark there. That's Leo's head on the right. Um, if you come down this way, no, it's going to be on the horizon. Right below the paper mill, <laughs> there's a fact a cluster of galaxies there. But okay, we can't get it at the moment, the paper is in the way. So let's go further across to some other deep sky objects. Uh, what should we choose? I'll well, we go straight to Orion. And where are we? There it is. Okay, I'm trying to look through this viewfinder and work out where they are. Put Orion the right way up. Uh, we have the Orion Nebula underneath Orion's belt, M42, which is also known as the Messier Catalogue, number 42. And that's where new stars are forming. Again, that's because it's hundreds of light years away. The light left there long before the church was even built. And uh, to the left of Orion we have the Rosette Nebula. It's one of the brightest nebula in the sky, apart from M42. Uh, it's quite a pretty one in telescopes, so it really is quite stunning. Okay, now we go further upwards. We have the Hyde Star Cluster, uh, approximately 50 million, 500 million years old. And uh, the, high, the Pleiades star cluster, this is Mars, my well, fingers are shaking, that's why it's overhead, that's why I'll try and steady it for you. There we go. And uh, the, the ultimate naked eye object is in most books. This is the square of Pegasus, let's find that first. Uh, tips on its side. Uh, Jupiter, there we are, found it. There's a square, and I'll centre it on it now. So we go across the square, up to the top left, we come across Andromeda, and the Andromeda galaxy is that smudge near the top centre, two and a half million light years away. So that light, light left there all that time ago, and we're just receiving it now. Two and a half million light years, it's the finest galaxy we can see really with the naked eye and this camera picks it up fairly easily it's about magnitude 5 so it's almost amongst the faintest objects you can see at magnitude 6 this camera picks it up reasonably well so this camera can go down 6.5 without too much trouble maybe magnitude 7 on a very crystal clear night so it's a pretty neat camera